This is the leader of the Social Democrats, and the violent scenes are from Macedonia's parliament. People desperately tried to block the protesters from entering the chamber, but failed. The camera tripods and chairs became weapons to hit politicians. And it seemed no one could escape the mob's fury. Finally, the crowd took control. These are anti-Albanian protesters who are angry at the election of an ethnic Albanian as the parliamentary speaker. Supporters of the outgoing Nationalist Party have already challenged the legality of the vote. For months, demonstrations have continued by the Nationalists who got 51 out of the 120-seat parliament. They refused to accept the alliance between the Social Democrats and minority Albanian parties. The ethnic parties want to make Albanian an official second language. But nationalists call ethnic Albanians a threat to national unity. International mediation in 2001 prevented a civil war between the two groups. But since then, they have not mended all their differences. NATO Secretary General has expressed shock, and the EU has called on all political actors to honor the constitution. The nationalist leader Nikola Gruevsky has called for calm and blamed the violence on what he calls provocations of the Social Democrats. The scariest thing of all is that this was allowed. Uh, we have seen for more than two years how the police acts when uh, anti-government protests take place. And the police did not act in the same way this time. The police was absent. I do hope that the protesters will calm down in the upcoming days. I'm not certain that there will not be any more incidents because as we saw in the videos, there was a lot of hatred in these people. People criticized the security forces for failing to stop the storming of the parliament. The police used flash grenades in clashes with protesters outside the parliament. And the tensions in Skopje continue to simmer. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.